keep your promise to yourself. Genesis chapter 26 and verse 12 says, Then Isaac sowed in that land and reaped in the same year a hundredfold. And the Lord blessed him. And like I, I like to say, it's not that only it's not only that Isaac stayed in the land God told him to stay, Isaac sowed in that land. So in your 2024, in the place called there, I'm talking about your business, your job, the ministry where God has planted you, in your marriage, in your vital relationships, invest there this year. Yeah, you know, we prayed the other time with Job chapter 22 and verse 28, and I said to you how that illumination f- follows declaration. What Genesis 26 and verse 12 is telling us is that the blessing rests on effort. The blessing rests on effort. Then Isaac sowed in that land and reaped a hundredfold. Why? And the Lord blessed him. Okay, the blessing responded to his effort. And I speak concerning you this year that the blessing will respond to your effort james chapter 1 and verse 25 says but whoever looks intently into the perfect law that gives freedom and continues in it not forgetting what they have heard but doing it they will be blessed okay in what they do they will be blessed in what they do so when i say keep your promise to yourself i am saying the things you said you were going to do this year do them okay do them we are we are in the month of february right now it's not too late as a matter of fact you can start now and by june all your goals have been met okay so start now come out of that rot come out of discouragement come out of depression okay you have no business with failure you have no business okay being in a rot you have no business with discouragement come out of it somebody is saying how can you just tell me to come out of it yes you have what it takes to come out of it i'm speaking prophetically to somebody right now you are a child of god the scent of water is flowing your tree is sprouting again this morning snap tell yourself i'm coming out just like the prodigal son i'm coming out i will arise i will go back to my father those things you said you are going to do just start doing them listen the strength of god will meet you halfway the power of god will attend you okay just make up your mind and start doing something don't forget what the bible says in james 125 they will be blessed in what they do because the blessing rests on effort and as we round up this morning this is what god said i should tell you he said let your effort reflect your expectation because this year there shall be no crop failure let me say it again let your effort reflect your expectation because this year there shall be no crop failure second corinthians chapter 9 and verse 6 from the new living translation says remember this A farmer who plants only a few seeds will get a small crop. But the one who plants generously will get a generous crop. crop. So, let your sowing this year, let your planting this year, let it reflect your expectation as you work, as you invest, as you make effort. Make those efforts accurate according to your expectation not according to your situation not according to what happened in the past this is a different cycle and like god has said to us this morning in this year in this cycle there shall be no crop failure i know you have struggled before you probably did it before and you fail and you failed this is the time to do it again like i said this year there will be no crop failure in the name of jesus can we